devastation it caused. <laughs> Do you like this? Yeah, yeah so Yeah, maybe this gigantic so excavator. There she is, the old 54 Super M. Got the hood off. We just got it back. We we picked up the sale Saturday. But this thing is complete. I'm real I mean right down to the, the jar on the pre-cleaner, which they never have. It's got surface rust, but it's not all dented up. This is a big dent we found right here. Uh, which isn't much. It's even got the cultivator gizmo on it. I think that's what that is anyway. So we just drained the old gas out. Right now we got a positive grounded six volt in there. We're gonna take that out and throw a 12 volt in and see if we can get the whip over and start. I mean, the wiring's all there. It, it just doesn't look great. So that's what we're gonna do. It looks like somebody put a new starter on it at some point. It's a new switch. That ain't, that ain't very old. So why this wound up at the sale, I guess they could, probably couldn't get it running. And now we're going to try to get it running. The coil looks old, the wiring looks old, so that's very fragile right there. So we're not too worried about all that stuff. We're going to go to 12 volts, we'll put a ballast resistor on it and a new coil. And, you know, tune it up. If we hear it running. Yeah. Well, we'll do it if we don't hear it running too. Because <laughs> that's what we'll have to do. Well, I think, uh, we'll see. But the tires, I mean, the rims, the rims ain't all rotted out, which is unusual. Usually you always see rot around the valve stem, which there's none on that one. And it shifts really slick. I mean, it just goes in and out of gear nice. The battery box ain't all rotted out. Really a nice, nice tractor. But we did pay for it, I do believe. But I tend to be a little cheap sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, that's our preliminary. We'll see if we can get it running. So you're hooking those battery terminals up. Yeah, it feels very wrong. Well, it is wrong. There's this pedal. And this, this guy preferred the inside brake. Let me, uh... Because this one looks like new. I'm going to crank it a little. See if it cranks. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to pull the ignition. Yeah. Put fire in a hole. That'll run on a six volt. Wow, she sounds sweet, Connor. Well, that's a good sail find. She's got X3 wheel weights. She's even got the shield on the PTO. Well, Farmall Super M, 1954. I thought you just got to see if it would spin, and then I went and started up on you. I thought my What do you think? Take it right down to barbecue and show it off, don't you think, or you want to paint it first? Yeah. What are you looking at? Keeping a little water out of the hot radiator hose. It's sinking a little bit. What's that about?
Yeah, they are. Nice work. Cut the wheel just right. I don't think it's the right international sign on top, but it might be. Yeah, take a little movie of it. This thing runs great. It's unbelievable. Yeah, none are gonna click. It's like brand freaking new. Try third out, I already did first and second. Go to third. Yeah. Wow. It doesn't even make a noise. Huh? It doesn't make a noise. I've never been on such a new old tractor. Put in fifth. If you can, if you can hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's got power, it's right there. Yeah. Nicest old tractor. This is the newest old tractor I think we've ever had. All right, Connor. So what do we figure? What are we gonna do? It's a it's a it's a brand new tractor. It no. just looks like hell. I mean, well, somebody painted it. I see runs in the paint here. Or is that factory runs? Be factory I think this this is not original. Looks like they put it on with drywall screws, but this the grill is all nice. So I think we get a little blast, then we paint it. We just clean this thing up and paint it. It it acts like a new tractor. It feels like one. It shifts like one. It goes like one. It's got power to beat the There's band. There's no noise. There's, There's no, no clicking noises. Nothing. Transmission noise. Did you hear any transmission? Oh, we need a new new radiator hose on top. They put one on the bottom. The radiator looks good too. That's where the water's going, can't see it. Yeah, it's just yeah the radiator looks good. Everything looks good. This is the voltage regulator. I didn't even know they were mounted here. It's got rubber isolators that are still there. That ain't rotted off. They're not even rotting off. Well, that, that might have been replaced back in 70 or something. I guess, but Well, this still. is a 54. Guess so in what? 70, it would have been 16 years old. 1970 was still 51 years ago, <laughs> by the way. I know, I know. It's, the paper's decent. The paper pulley's decent. It ain't perfect, 
No. But it's decent. It's not something we'll use it on anyways. Oh, no, we ain't going to use it. All this we got to preserve it. Wheels. It's right at that point. Yeah, there's a there's a loose bolt here. It's got to be tightened up for the get rid of the slack in the wheel. That's and that's the only slack you got. Tell you what, the brake. And whoever ran it always <laughs> used this brake. Didn't use this one because well, this one looks like yeah. a new pedal. They had it linked up and they were always hitting. Oh, the stand on that one. They're always standing on that one. Yeah, because the brakes the brakes are adjusted up even. Yeah. Wow. I wonder if they've ever been changed. So, uh, kind our regular. Uh, M.O. or modus operandi. Yeah, is garbage. Is to find the biggest blowed up piece of junk. But anyway, uh, our regular M.O. is to buy a total piece of crap with pieces missing and dented hood and rot holes and then fix it up. But this is too easy. So, and, and I always thought, well, okay, if I found a, an M for a thousand bucks, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. You know, you find when it runs, and this one didn't run, but I took the chance and I went 16 on it. You went 16. Okay. Hundo. Yeah. And the extra 600 bucks. Get your stuff. The battery out. box is like decent. This, that ain't perfect. This toolbox. This toolbox, the original toolbox. That opens so like. You can get a good look. It opens like this. Yeah, so we're clear. It was the original toolbox. It's got a, like a pivot here. Yeah. An extra pivot. I didn't. I never knew about it. <laughs> Nothing we've had in the past. Well, oh, the amp meter even looks decent on it. The amp meter doesn't look all blowed up. Usually you can't read them or nothing. The oil pressure gauge worked. Went right up. Is it down to nothing now? Yep. Went back down. Okay. So it's, it's got high oil pressure. I, uh, it's fresh. It doesn't smoke at all. Doesn't smoke. It blew a little bit of carbon when you were in fifth gear working it. Well, it's yeah, beautiful. that's when it, when you get on it. Amazing. Oh man. The clutch is right there. It's the pedal's not all not too wobbly. It's got the extra hydraulics. I don't know what good the hydraulics are to be honest. <laughs> I don't know if it's low pressure, high pressure. I don't know if we'd ever use it, but we'll set it up and make Check it. Check out the little shock absorber. That's, yeah, I know. This is uh, that's still there. The original shock absorber, probably. And the bushing's good in it. The bushing's still there. Look at all that stuff. <laughs> it's going to be a pain to paint. The seat's adjusted all the way forward. So whoever it was, kind of short. Well, some of these little farmers around here, was, they weren't all that tall. Remember, like the drop boys, they were pretty short. Oh, I know. This is where this came from. They had a Super M. That was really nice back in the day. Yeah. What size tires are these? These are nine. Oh, 14 fourteen nines. Fourteen nines. Sixteen was my bitter number. You got there early. <laughs> Lucky number sixteen, huh? Sweet sixteen this time. Well, that guy at the gate said it ran. I don't know how he knew. Well, you know what? I knew when I saw this. The jar. Yeah. I knew I saw the jar. Now this, I don't know if this is original either though. It's a ball jar. Yeah, it is. That's what they came with. That's what they came with, that a ball a, wide mouth special. Yeah, that was a thing. So you can't find these jars anywhere now, right? That's uh, the whole thing. Don't drop the jar. Don't drop the jar. I'm impressed. It's got the original fuel line still on it. It doesn't have the original muffler. I just spilled this oil here because I, I took the, there was a little bit of water in the air cleaner, the oil bath, but even that's nice. There's a little tiny bit of rust on the bottom. Which means that didn't sit in water for 60 years like most of them do. Well, I'm pretty pretty stoked. I'm pretty excited about this tractor. This is pretty neat. Gas tank ain't all mangled up. There ain't a dent in it. It sat inside for a long time. Must have sat outside for a long time too, or? Yep. It's tight. The whole tractor's tight. Can't believe it. I think that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. All right. Well, you know what? We'll put this on the list. <laughs> we still got to get back to that tractor out there. The old case. Yeah. We do have yeah. the motor. We just got to put it together now. Well, I'm in an engine building mood. So Ooh. Well, get her built. And we'll build that up this fall. Mm-hmm. We got most of the stuff to do it. Yep. We need a gasket kit, I think. Gasket kit. Yep. Gasket yeah, we got the bearings and everything. Because yep. I can't wait to do the 830 tricycle. With Case-O-Matic, that's another cool, cool piece. Well, hey, M's are pretty common. Super M's are even kind of common. But I think one that's in this kind of shape, where it's just so new feeling. I mean, it looks, it looks old. It it's looks, almost got that new car smell. It looks like you bring it to the, 
to the scrapyard, but it just feels brand new. I never felt a tractor so new. This tractor is 64 years old now, right? No. No, it's older than that. 54? Let me think, it's a 54. 68. 68 years old, right? It's, uh... No, 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 no. no. 70. 66. We are math majors right here. Uh... <laughs> uh now you got me confused. This is where I'll have to come back to it. Well, in 2004, it would have been 50 years old. Yes. So I had 20 years of that. Yeah. 18 years of that. Oh, I'm so confused. It's almost 80. It's getting older by the minute. <laughs> I think it's about... I'm 59 and I'm a 62 Listen, model year. This is eight years science, older than I am. According to modern science, it's six, uh, 4.6 billion years old. <laughs> well, you're counting all the iron ore. I am. I'm counting all of it. <laughs> okay. That's what modern science is telling us. Yes. The Bible says it's 6,000 years old. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. I'm going to be 59 next week. And I'm a 62. This is a 54. Makes eight years older than me. That means I was right in the beginning. It's like a 68. 68 years old. Gosh, it's almost 70. I unplugged it. Yeah, good idea. Because I don't. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.